guys and today I'm doing my upcoming offseason priorities for the Los Angeles Lakers and I was waiting to do this until they hired a coach but I'll do my what to expect for them this offseason video once they do hire a coach and first off they're not going to get Nick Nurse as their coach I think it's going to come down to if you're going to look at a coach you know who's had experience I think Mike Brown's going to be the guy at the top of the list because past two seasons he's ran the Warriors defense and before that for four seasons he ran the offense now if they hire someone random, okay, like an unnamed guy, I think they're going to do it from within. It's either going to be John Lucas or Quentin Crawford, who Quentin Crawford's 31 and John Lucas is 39. And the reason why I say if they don't hire a guy like Mike Brown or, you know, a head coach like Steve Clifford or somebody like Kenny Atkinson or someone with, you know, experience, it's going to be a guy within that LeBron chooses. So let's get right into the video and hear your thoughts. So for the fourth straight season we'll probably see a brand new sporting cast around lebron james and anthony davis with over half the roster hitting free agency the lakers will have between 7 to 12 free agents depending on player and team options so let's look at it right now projected players under contract russell westbrook he'll probably accept that 47 million dollar player option lebron anthony davis taylor horn tucker kendrick nutt will probably expect accept that 5.2 million dollar player option he's not going to get more in the open market i expect them to pick up the team options of stanley johnson wayne wayne gabriel and austin reeves and lebron james anthony davis and taylor horn tucker are the only players under contract with you know even kendrick nunn said in his exit meeting that he will pick up his player option and the team holds i expect so basically they have right there seven guys on the roster with you know we russell westbrook being expected to be traded and the Lakers plan to enter this season with Anthony Davis playing the center position and LeBron James being the power forward because they're, those were their best respected positions in 2022. And their greatest need from a skill standpoint is shooting. This is a subpar collection of three-point shooters. James and Nunn are the only two above average three-point shooters on this team. And as far for positions, we're assuming the Lakers will trade Westbrook. They need a starting level point guard replacement and they need at least one non-Anthony Davis center which, I mean, they could bring back Dwight Howard, but, you know, he kind of got exposed this year. They need a better starting level small forward. They need more depth that can be versatile, and they need more size in the backcourt and that long, the wings positions, while also having, you know, shooting. And, yes, they're limited in trade assets, financial resources, and they'll have to upgrade the trade via a potential Russell Westbrook trade, plus probably trading Taylor Horn, Tucker, and Kendrick Nunn, or putting them together with the first round picks they have and using their taxpayer mid-level exception and then using minimum contracts. So the guys that will return, Austin Reeves, Stanley Johnson, Wayne, Gabriel, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James. LeBron James and Davis are untouchable. Those two will be the two sub stars that they will flip. Reeves, Johnson, and Gabriel's contracts are cheap and team friendly. It would be so stupid of them not to bring them back and it'll help bolster the depth. Who could return? I think if you look at it, Malik Monk, Taylor Horn, Tucker, Kendrick Nunn, Car Carmelo Anthony, Dwight Howard, and DJ Augustine are all the players that weren't bad. Okay, Monk is the Lakers' top free agent. He was basically showed that he's a six man. But the first issue is money. Okay, they can only offer him about $6.3 million. And there's a chance that they can re sign him. And I think they will. And. It will because he takes less money, but there's a team out there probably willing to offer him 10, you know, $10 million a year for a multi-year deal. The second issue is that they need size, length, athleticism, and defense. And Monk is an undersized shooting guard who's a defensive liability. So if the Lakers strike out on their top wing prospects, they could resign Monk. Now, Horn Tucker and Nunn are guys that I could say could return because they're on medium-sized contracts but they also could be used as trade assets, okay? And Avery Bradley, Russell Westbrook, Wayne Ellington, and Kent Bazemore should not return. West, Russell Westbrook should leave, okay? Bradley was awful. He was passable, and I don't know why Vogel insisted on him starting and closing games, which exposed the defensive-minded guard's weakness. Opposing defense to treat him like a non-threat. His on-ball defense is solid, but it's incredibly overrated. He's a minus elsewhere, you know, at this point defensively and he's a shooting guard who's the size of a point guard making him a tricky 
fit with this team. They need more size, and Ellington and Bazemore were supposed to be shooting guards that could stretch the floor and play some defense, but they were ineffective. So if we look at this next year, the roster should be, you know, point guards a question mark, but arguably Austin Reeves, Taylor Horn Tucker with Stanley Johnson backing up whoever they bring in, you know, Austin Reeves, Taylor Horn Tucker, hopefully backing up a different shooting guard, Stanley Johnson backing up a different shooting guard, Wayne Gabriel backing up LeBron. Hopefully they bring back Dwight Howard, you know, to back up anthony davis you also bring back you know carmelo to back up or start i guess i don't know dj augustine should be a backup it's just hard to think this is really hard there's a lot this, this roster is fucked